Hello friends, welcome back to another video from our YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up a Docker containers as a Jenkins build agents so that we can use multiple Jenkins build agents or slave nodes for distributing the Jenkins jobs. We have already uploaded a lot of tutorial videos on multiple technologies in our YouTube channel. Please go through it. If you are interested in learning, then do subscribe now and click near the bell icon to get the notifications for any new uploaded videos. Let's get started. Jenkins build agents or slave nodes are usually set up for distributing the Jenkins jobs. With the help of these agents, the resource utilization will be very less. Also, these slaves will run only when builds are scheduled, else it will be removed. So mostly these slaves will be on a physical server or on a VMs. But nowadays we can set up these build agents as a container so that we can use this inside a Docker container or as a Kubernetes parts. So this tutorial will show you the entire step-by-step -step procedure for setting up the Docker container as a Jenkins build agents. So this is my Jenkins console and it is running on a Ubuntu server that is Ubuntu 22. And as we are going to set up the agent on Docker, we would need a Docker server. So this is my Jenkins master and this is another server which I am going to use to set up my Docker containers. Use the command app get update to fetch the latest repositories. All these commands and steps involved in this complete tutorial are already documented in my website called lanetigate.net. You can go through this and I will provide you the link in the description. Let's install the Docker package name called docker.io and we need to enable the remote host. Then only your Jenkins will be able to connect with Docker remote host. So there is a file under slash lib. There you can find a line that starts with execute start. Just command this line. And go to the document. To copy this line. Let me open with sudo. So we just added the remote host parameter. Save and exit from this file. And just restart Docker services. So once the service is started, we have to verify the remote host API enabled or not. To use the curl command, use local host and the port number, what we have mentioned in the service file, that is 4243 slash version. If you see the output of the Docker version, then the Docker remote host is enabled. And we have tested this remote host only within the Docker host, but we have to validate this Docker host from the Jenkins file because your Jenkins will call the remote host API to launch the Docker containers to perform the build request. So here I'm going to use the same curl command and instead of localhost, I'm going to use the Docker server IP that is 192.168.2.22. I'm able to get the version output. So at this point, Jenkins master is able to connect our Docker host using the REST API. Now we need to build a Docker image for our Jenkins agents. As we have decided to use the Docker container, obviously we would need a Docker image. And what is needed inside that image? That is completely depends on the project requirement. For example, if I'm going to use my Jenkins jobs for Maven build or Ant or Artifactory or Git repository, then all these record package should be installed along with the Docker images because for every time you cannot go and install manually while launching the containers. That is why we have the Docker file to customize all the requirements. Let me go back to the Docker 
here I am already in a directory called Jenkins Lane where you can see a Docker file where I just use Ubuntu 20 as my base image. On top of that, I just update the repository and installing few packages that is required for my project. Since this is a Jenkins, we would need Java. So that is why I have mentioned the command over here to install the Open JDK 13 version. And I need Git. Also, I want Maven. And also, these containers will be launched from the Jenkins using the SSH connections. Because Jenkins would be able to log in inside the container to perform some actions. For that, we would need some kind of authentication. Either you can go with username and password or you can create SSH passwordless authentications. In that case, I would prefer to use the SSH. For that, I have installed the open SSH server and did some configuration that is required for SSH stuff. So here I have created a directory called SSHD under var run and this is package management to remove oblique packages and I have created a user called Jenkins and hyphen m to create the directory that is home directory then this is the shell it will be defined while creating the user called Jenkins and under the home directory um, I have defined to create a directory called dot SSS so that I can copy my SSH key inside the container then I have used the copy instruction to copy the public key inside the Jenkins home directory in the file called authorized underscore key. And these are a basic stuff for SSH configurations. Then finally, I have used the run instructions to change the ownership of this directory to Jenkins. Then exposed port 22. This, this is going to be SSH based container. It will allow 22 and the daemon to run the container. So this is a basic docker file. Similarly, you will have multiple Jenkins slave agent docker files available in the internet as well as on the docker hub itself as an image. So let's build the image and this is the repository. I'm going to use it because this is my repository that is called Lanity Gate where I have created the repository name called Jenkins slave agent and the tag is 1.0. It is already built. Once the image is ready, the image is there inside your Docker host. So we need to push this image to a Docker Hub registry so that Jenkins will be able to pull the Docker image wherever it is. All right. So, so Docker push in the repository name and then tag. If you see, I have copied um, public key inside the container and I have created this using a simple command called sh keygen. These are related to sh stuff. All right. So I have already keys, public key and private key inside the same directory. That's it on the Docker side. At this point, we have successfully configured the Docker host. Also, we have created Jenkins build the agent based on docker file now on this jenkins console we need to install a plugin called docker that will support to integrate your docker host with this jenkins so let's go to manage jenkins and plugins Click on available plugins and search for a plugin called Docker. This is the one. So this plugin will integrate, you know, uh, your Jenkins with Docker. Right? Click on install. All right. So the plugin is installed. Let's go back to manage Jenkins. Here on this cloud options. You can see an option called new cloud click on it 
And here you can give the cloud name. Nothing but the Docker host. All right. So here I will use the slave one and click on this Docker type because we are going to use the Jenkins agent as a Docker container. We'll click on this create. Now you will have a two options. One is to provide the, the information that is needed for Docker cloud details and the other one for Docker agents. So first we'll go to the Docker details, click on it. Here you need to specify all details about your Docker host. So the Docker host URL is nothing but value you have given in the Docker service file. That is TCP colon double slash and the Docker host IP that is 192.168.2.22 and the port number is 4243. So once you have added this Docker host, just click on this test connection to make sure you have successful connection between your Jenkins and Docker remote host. Perfect. So we have got the Docker version output, which means there is no problem with your connectivity. All right, now, so click on this tick mark to enable it. Now also you have to expose this Docker host. That's all you have to do on this Docker detail. Now we'll go to the Docker agent. So this is the section where you will add the information about your Docker image, right? So here click on add Docker template. Here you can give some labels. Okay, this um, Docker image has Maven. So I just give the name called Maven. It can be anything. And you have to enable this agent template. Here also you can give the same name and Docker image. So this has to be the exact name what you have pushed to your Docker Hub. Just copy this, save the image along with the tag name. And here the other information would be the remote file system root. By default, if you use any username, that will be landed to the home directory. But still, I would suggest to use the exact pop directory and usage. Um, Use this only build jobs with label expression matching these nodes so that this agent will not be online all the time. This will be launched only when there is a request for the build. And connect method. So how do you connect to a Jenkins and your Docker host? So here click on this pull down menu and go with connect with SSH because we have already enabled the SSH model. So here on this SSH, we have to select the option called use configure the SSH credential. For adding the credential, and go back to the console and go to manage Jenkins and search for the credential. Here yeah, the scope, main system, click on add credential. Here it should be SSH username is private key. On this ID, just give Jenkins and you can give any description if you want. And the username has to be exactly what you have mentioned the Docker file. On the private key, click on this enter directly. Click on add. Now go to the Docker host again. And use a cat command to view the content of this private key. To copy this value and pass paste it over here in the text box. We don't have a passphrase, so just click on create. So the Jenkins credential is created. Now go back to the agent configuration. Here you can pull down. Uh, if you didn't see this Jenkins credential, you have added newly, just click on this save and again open this cloud. Configuration. Click on configure. Go to the agent template. On this credential, click on this pull down menu. Now you will be able to see the newly added credentials. Click on this Jenkins. 
So let's ignore this verification strategy. On scroll down, that's it. On this agent template configuration, just apply and save. That's it. For testing this Jenkins build agent, let's use some jobs. Test the build agent is launching properly or not. So here I have one test uh, job called iMedia Dev Build. So go to configure. And here, let's not use this parameter is build and load because this test is going to confirm the job is going to trigger or launch the Docker container on Docker host or not. Right. So on this execution, I'm just going to use simple loop. This loop will, you know, just print the hosting. And now we'll run this job specifically to a Docker container. So this is the option we have to select rustic where this project can be run. Already we have provided the label name uh, while configuring the Jenkins agent template. So you can use the same name over here. And if you see this error, no need to worry. This, that is because of this extra space. You just remove that one space, click outside of this box, that will be okay. Right? Um, that's it. Click on save and build now. So the 17th uh, job is started. Uh, in the meantime, if you go to uh, Docker host and run PSA, you can see the launched container. It is up for 10 seconds. So the job has started. Let's click on this job to see the console output. You can see uh, we have added a simple while loop inside the shell. So that is keep on running till the job completed. The container will be alive. This is not going to be end because I have indefinitely created the loop. So let me stop the build manually. So the 17th job is stopped now. Now if you go and see the PS status, the launch container is stopped. So that's it. So we have successfully configured a Docker container as a Jenkins build agents. See you in the next video. Till then, keep practicing and have fun. How did you feel? Is it helpful? Appreciate our efforts in the comment section below. Hit like button, share with your friends about us, subscribe our channel to get further updates, stay connected with us on social networking sites. For more free tutorials, visit our website www.lanetiguide.net.